the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and this conforms with this ayah that the earth will testify, will inform about what happens, not only the earth. He said, This is reported by Al-Bukhari. When the Mu'addin calls the Adhan, everything that hears his voice, trees, clay, rocks, stones, everything will testify for him on the Day of Judgment. So the testimony of the earth is part of the testimonies. You know, on the day of judgment, different things will speak out. Different things will speak out. And the reason Allah Azza wa Jal makes different things speak out, so no one would have an excuse. So Allah Azza wa Jal establishes justice. So the deniers will have no excuse because on the day of judgment, the disbelievers will deny that they have ever d disbelieved. Why? Perhaps they can rescue themselves. But that day, On that day, we will seal their mouths. And what will testify? Their hands and their legs. What else? وَقَالُوا لِجُنُودِهِمْ لِمَ شَهِدْتُمْ عَلَيْنَا قَالُوا أَنْطَقَنَا اللَّهِ They will say to their skin, What made you testify against us? They, they will say, the skin will say, Allah made us speak, speak out. He who made everything speak out. الَّذِي أَنْطَقَ كُلَّ شيء. So it's not only the earth that will testify for or against us. Our limbs, our skin. And that's why the scholars recommended that a person tries to perform acts of righteousness on different spots so he will increase the spots that will testify for him on the Day of Judgment.